The Julia Regini case has only shed light on the broader systematic uh, violations of human rights in Egypt and uh, it's definitely not an exception and not the only case because there are several human rights organizations and society organizations that have been documenting hundreds of cases of people who are um, subject to forced disappearances, uh, torture death, and uh, and uh, a lot of like different forms of human rights violation and um, uh, surpassing the rule of law. People have been in, in prison for years without a charge uh, and without being told why they are there. Their cases keeps being postponed over and again. Uh, and this is really concerning and instead of the government uh, holding those people who are responsible of these violations and atrocities accountable, they actually go and try to silence those who try to document it and talk about it. Uh, we've seen how they try to close down an Nadim Center, which is one of the most prominent centers in Egypt that uh, documents and works on the rehabilitation of victims of torture. They are also trying to harass and intimidate and prosecute prominent human rights defenders uh, around the country. Uh, and of course this is terrible for civil society, but it also shows the short-sightedness of the government because they can silence people for only so long but at the end of the day, if these issues are not addressed, they are going to have real damaging consequences. Thank you.